Hello friends and welcome to Learning with Naisha Dalal. Today we are gonna do a Makar Sankranti scenery time. So let's start. So first take a permanent marker because we are gonna do with crayons and watercolor. The sky part we are gonna do with watercolor. So I'm using a permanent marker. If you don't have a permanent marker, you can uh, color the whole part and after that do with a normal sketch pen. So let's start to outline. So first make a kite, a very big kite. So for that, uh, crayon, half with crayon. Like this we make a diamond, then make a rectangle line and like this we curve for full key, full key, same other side. Then a line, then like this we string and type of a bow, then make lines. Like this way for this string and fair key. Then mix leaves. Lattoos. Then the sun because the main, the sun because it's a festival of the sun. So we can't forget to make the sun. We can also make more different things because in different parts of earth, different name is celebrated and different ways there to celebrate Makar Sankranti like in Tamil Nadu it is Pongal, in Punjab it's Lori. Then let's come to drawing. Make clouds like this. See on one side all clouds. So. Now it's time to decorate the kite. Then make the lines at the sun. Those up show the sun shining. Now our drawing is ready. So this I've done with the crayon. Now we will let it dry for five to ten minutes because if on this on this black crayon we will do coloring then all it will merge and look very dirty so let it dry for five to ten minutes and then we will start coloring so this is a very easy drawing but just the filky is a bit difficult the making this shape but two or three year old can, can do it very easily towards means uh, small kids can do it very easily it's a very easy drawing not two or three year old kid i was just kidding now Let's start coloring. So here I have took two pairs of colors. So one pair is um, of rose pink and carmine. So you can take any uh, pairs, any pair of color like like blue and dark blue. So I have took rose pink shade number three is zero and carmine shade number zero five three. And the second pair is you can take light green, dark green, anything. And the second pair is two five three maroon and primary red. So let's start. So uh, I have in the circle for the circle one pair and for uh, coloring the whole kite one pair. So so for the main coloring I am taking maroon and primary red. So what we need to do is just outline the whole kite like this way. And at the between line also you can you have to outline. If you don't want then. It's okay. It's not compulsory, but the out uh, the diamond one is compulsory. The line one is just to give more beauty. Okay, for the color option, you can take uh, totally opposite color or else you know same color because uh, my carmine and maroon are same. So it's I have to almost same colors. You can take opposite color like green uh, and dark green or and blue and dark blue. So we have outline. Now with red we will color the whole kite merging the color maroon. 
okay so uh, it should not be uh, seen that this is a different color and this is a different color it should be merged so now i have done coloring now it's turn to color the circle so here i have used rose pink and colored the whole circle normally then on that i will use carmine and put a small circle and that that then i will mix that with finger like this way and then a beautiful color will bounce out so see now we have colored the kite now we will take a more bright and attractive color which color is yellow So see here I have took three colors. One is medium yellow shade number two five six. Second is um, brilliant blue shade number zero to one, and third is light brown. Now first I will use medium yellow shade number two five six and color the firki strings. So so this means that the strings in the firki are yellow and color the strings one by one so it will look real. Then. The stick which we hold, we will color that in brown, and this part we will color in brilliant blue. So this with it would be attractive and colorful. Here also brilliant blue in the bow. Then now we want a silverish type for the bow of this week. So we will only we will use shade of yellow only, which is deep yellow shade number one one zero. So with that. I will color the bow and the stand right down and the sweets sweets we we can color in ochre um, type because we can color it in uh, you know yellow now because it will uh, look same to same so I will take light orange and I will take light brown light orange two three eight Sheet number two, three, eight, and light brown. So first, I will use light brown, very lightly, means very lightly. See, light this way, and on that very darkly, I will use peach and color darkly on it. And we will get the color of lattes like this. So if we don't have that color, we can shade two colors like this. Now, here I am using very bright color, which is medium yellow and uh, light yellow for the sun. So medium yellow shade number two five six and yeah, light yellow shade number four two four three. So first we will color the sun. It should be very neat, no white, uh, you know, uh, anything black. It should be very bright and you know yellow. So see, like this way, I have colored the sun, and with ye light yellow color, I will do the border line, border line, and little bit on, you know, on yellow also in between, like this. So our sun is done. Now the highlight of the sun. Also we will do. So for that, hold both the colors like this way in one hand, and check that they are on same, you know, height. Then we will make lines. Then we will make lines on the sun highlight to, uh, together, so it will look, uh, you know, the both colors together, so it will look highlighted and realistic. So we will do it. So check that they are in same height and start making. Lines like this, and then with individual color, go again. First, I done with medium yellow. Second, with light yellow. It fill it the whole color. So see, this is the sun. Now, rest all we will do with watercolors. 
or you can use acrylic colors so here i have took sponge and blue poster color and also water so first i will take sponge dip it in water and take the poster color 